most people want to learn HTML because they want to make a website. So the first thing I want to say about HTML is if you want to make a website, don't make it in pure HTML. Don't make it just in HTML. There are better options out there. If you look at my WordPress videos, it will show you how to make a modern website. And this, this is what most people use. A modern website in WordPress. Then if you know HTML, it really helps out. So you can edit the page exactly how you want to. But don't make a complete website in HTML. That's definitely the first thing I wish someone told me. Okay, the second thing I wish someone told me is HTML is just the building blocks of the web. So if we look here, everything that's displayed here, like this image, which is just a logo, and this text is in HTML. So we can see that this adding content right here, and we can view the source code by right clicking and pressing view page source. And we can search for adding content. And we see that it's between two of these HTML tags. That's what they're called. And this is H1 tag. So it goes a less than sign, H1, then a greater than sign. And then in between it, it says before adding content. And then it has the lesson and a forward slash and the H1 and a greater than sign. Everything between the, this right here is in the H1, which is the heading 1. If we did H2, that's a heading 2, and it would be a little bit smaller. So let's see, see before adding content. Before adding content, you see that's pretty big. And that's the H1 tag. So HTML has different tags, and they go a little something like this. Let me increase this for you. If I can. That tells it that's the beginning of the HTML document, and that says that's the end of the HTML document. This says that's the body of the document, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And that says that's the end of the body of the document. So these are just HTML tags. So in this HTML tag is the body document here. In the body we can say hello world and we'll save it. This is just a regular notepad. We can see that we have an .html after it so it knows it's an HTML document. By the way, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. You don't really need to know or memorize that unless you want to be a computer science major. But let's see what that HTML did. Let's see what this what this does. And it says hello world. Okay, and we can view the page source. And we see that it's exactly how we made it. So this tells it it's the beginning of HTML. This says it's the body of the document, which is right here. This is the body of the document all this stuff in the body. So we can change it. There are more HTML tags that we can do. And let's do an H1 again. So this is heading one. So that's how you do it, heading one and you start it there and you end it there and let's put more text after it and let's see what that does so now we refresh so that's just in the body this is the h1 and this is after the h1 because it wasn't in between it it didn't affect it. So this is the start of it and this is the end of it. Because the high there was in between it, it didn't affect this. 
there are lots more different tags that you can do by searching Google. So if we just look at, you can search for common HTML tags. We see that there's a font one, and there's an image one, and there's all these different tags that go into HTML. You don't want to make a whole website, like I said before, in HTML. You just want to understand that if you need that level of control that you can do it in WordPress. You can also do images in HTML, so image source equals, and in two quotes, you put the image path, so I have an image on my desktop called Tyler Moore, and then you end it. This is a weird tag because it doesn't have an ending tag. It, it only has one tag. It's a self-containing tag. So this just tells it this image tag, it just looks like this, because it, it's only one, it has an ending one right here. This is a attribute, this image source. And if we save this, we can view it. So we've added an image in HTML. So that's the gist of it. It's really just the <clears throat> building blocks of the website. It's not exactly how you style it. So it's not, doesn't make your website look really pretty, but it's it's the basic elements. It's a building block of your website. You can style it with something called CSS or Cascade Style Sheet. And we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. But hopefully you understand this more and uh, hopefully it helps you. Thanks a lot.